Welcome, everybody, to the Penalty Box segment for Friday, November 11th. We've got five minutes to go through three NHL bets, and let's start right off the bat with the Winnipeg Jets going into Columbus. Winnipeg 9-1 and one with a huge result against Detroit, a 6-2 victory, playing the surprising Columbus Blue Jackets, sitting at 5-3 and three and winners of their last two games. And bottom line here, guys, I think we have a very live dog. Columbus is plus 145, and that's where I think we should bet Tonight, uh, you know, I mean, well, this Winnipeg team's a good team. I don't think this Winnipeg team is nearly as great as their 9-1 and one record suggests. But I think they're a playoff team, and I think they're a much better team than Columbus on a whole. I just don't like the spot for Winnipeg. Uh, they won eight in a row, then they lost to the Leafs. They bounced back their first game on the road against Detroit 6-2. And I think this is just a real legitimate letdown spot for the Winnipeg Jets. Plus, Columbus is galvanized. This is a team that lost Johnny Goudreau to a horrific death and is uh, injured, and yet they have come together and they have won games. They just beat the Islanders 2-0. They can win low-scoring games. They just beat Edmonton 6-1. They can win high-scoring games. Uh, at plus 145 at home against a team that is due to go on a losing streak, we're going to take Columbus at plus 145. Now, before we turn our attention to Tampa Bay and Minnesota, I just want to make mention, you know when you feel like you're about to explode on a massive run? That's how I feel. I've won five of my last seven days of sports betting, but none of them have been exceptional. For instance, yesterday I went two and two. I did have a winning day, but it was still only two and two. <clears throat> and that's sort of what it's been like for the last week. A lot of three and two days, a lot of two and two days but winning the bigger plays. I'm about to break out, and I'm about to break out big, and I got a nice weekend plan for all of you guys. I got five college football plays up on Saturday, including a big 4% play. I've got five NFL plays on Sunday, including two 4% plays. Uh, and tonight in NHL, I have one NHL bet, and I also have one NBA bet. So, yeah, it's time to get a three-day all-access pass to the Prez. Let's turn our attention to the next game. Uh, Tampa Bay uh, playing Minnesota, and hats off to this Tampa Bay team. I didn't expect much out of them. Seven and three to start the season, but bigger hats off to Minnesota. Six and one to start the season. But what are we going to do here, guys? We're going to go with over the total. I'm really shocked this total is six. You take a look at Minnesota, and they've put up five, five, four, five, three, and four in their last six games. That's five, five, four, five, three, four in their last six games. Those are big time scoring uh, games. And yes, they've been playing well defensively. I get it. Uh, they went three games in a row where they held their opponents to one goal in each game. But they did let in three against Pittsburgh and they let Philadelphia put up seven. Now they play a Tampa Bay team who can score as well. This team just put up five on Colorado. But more importantly, I think this Tampa Bay team will let goals in. They had a great game against Colorado. They kept them to two and Nashville to two. But this is a, a team that should average over three goals allowed a game. Uh, six is the number here. We're going to take over the total. Now we turn our attention to the New Jersey Devils on the road. Seven, four, and two on the season, playing the Calgary Flames. And look, I think this Calgary team is bad, outright bad. They won their first uh, five games. Uh, well, they won four, then lost one, then won one. And now they've lost four in a row, and they've really looked horrible. Terrible loss against Utah, 5-1. Then they lost 5 nothing to Vegas. Where am I going tonight? Even though I think they're a dreadful team, and even though I think New Jersey's one of the best, we're getting plus 145 here. And I think this is, again, a bad spot for New Jersey. New Jersey just whooped Vancouver, 6-0. and This is their second game of their road trip out west. They've won two in a row, and I just feel like this is another regression game. As we've spoken about, I really like to play the rhythm of teams, and I look at both Winnipeg and New Jersey, and I feel like they're both just in a tough spot to get a W. Plus, we're getting so much money here, plus 145 on both games. That's where we're going. So to summarize, everybody, we like Columbus plus money. 
Tampa Bay and Minnesota over and New Jersey plus money. I'm Lawrence Presman. Thanks so much for watching the penalty box segment. We'll see you guys all next Monday.